Every time I get one of these boxes, it feels like Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Hey guys, Ashley here, and today I am back with another fairy loot unboxing. So yes, I am unboxing the October box, which is Battles and Galaxies. If you don't know what fairy loot is, fairy loot is a monthly subscription box that sends out a new fantasy-themed book with bookish goodies every month. Yay. So originally I thought my rep turn was over, but I'm actually so happy to announce that I'm gonna be continuing to unbox these fairy loot boxes for you guys just forever. Keep going until I stop or they tell me to stop. I'm just gonna keep going. I am a fairy loot rep. So if you use my code outpage, you can receive a 10% discount of your next box, your first box. Do it. Okay, let's open the box. I'm ready to make a mess. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a different inside. Can you see the design? This is different. I'm liking it. It's very pretty. So first thing on top we have is the theme card, which is a spoiler card. I don't want to look at this. Don't want spoilers, people. Okay, so first thing I see amongst the many purple crinkles that are sure to make a mess in my room is a galaxy bath bomb. Oh. Ooh, can it smell it? Nope, it just smells like plastic. <laughs> so yes, this is a galaxy bath bomb by Kaylee's Craft Store. So you know, so your bath can look like a galaxy far, far away. Bleh! Oh, I really regret doing that. Now it's everywhere. Next thing I see is a patch. Okay, so this looks like we have a fairy loot exclusive iron on patch. It says, I am the reaper and death. And it is a quote from Red Rising by Pierce Brown, which I have not read, but you know, it's okay. And this is by KDP Letters. Lovely, lovely. Patch it on, y'all. Okay, we have another Fairy Loot exclusive item. I'm gonna open it up, actually. So this is a Stars and Destiny wooden ornament, cause you know, Christmas is around the corner. And it says, it is not in the, it is not in stars. I literally, every time there's a font, I have trouble reading it. Eh. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. A very motivational quote. This is by William Shakespeare. You know, lovely dude. So that's really lovely. A little nice ornament to hang on your tree. You know, if you want like literature. <laughs> and this is by Katrina's book designs. Ooh, ooh, I'm really excited about this one. Actually, we're gonna buy some of these the other day, so I'm really happy. Fairy loot exclusive stars and space coasters. If you wanted to know, they were made in China. Um, so let's open these up. So it looks like we have some Marissa Meyer Lunar Chronicles themed quotes, and each coaster is from a different girl. So we have Scarlett. She was ready to figure out who she really was, not what anyone else told her to be. Next one we have is Crest. She dreamed of deep soul connections and passionate kisses and daring escapades. Next one is our girl Magal Cinder. Even in the future, the story begins with once upon a time. And last, of course, Winter. She would be brave, she would be heroic, she would make her own destiny. Those are really cool. I am really excited because I just got my new desk and I've been drinking some drinks and I've, they've been staining. So now I have these lovely coasters. Thank you, Fairy Loot, for the lovely coasters. These are very practical items and I'm feeling it. You, we got an ornament, we got the bath bomb, we got the coasters. I am set for life, basically, you know? Okay, next thing we have, okay, I believe this is a tote bag. They had said on their Instagram that they were gonna do a tote bag. It's purple, it's purple. So what does the tote bag say? It says, um, perhaps bravery is simply the face humanity wraps around it's Collective Madness. And this is from Illumine by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. That's really nice. I like that. I like the purple. I like Illumine. And this is actually a really good quality tote bag. Like, I like it. Hi. In my fashion. Fashion. Love. There are a lot of things in here. What is you? What are you? It just says fairy loot and it's black and ominous. What? Let's open it up. I'm liking that like these items in this box are kind of like mysterious. I don't know what it is. Oh, is it a passport carrier? Okay, it is a passport carrier. So I'm opening it, it's just like that, that. So yeah, this doesn't pertain to our particular book or anything like that, but it's just a fairly exclusive and it's really cute, lovely design. So when you go on your little space travels, you can look cute and stylish. I like that. Again, this box is very practical and I like it. I'm gonna use all these items, I think. I'm feeling it. All right. Okay, again, everything I pick up, I'm like, what, what is this? It's jingling, what is it? But this is a very nice little bag I shall repurpose. Okay, what is this? I, I'm very confused, Fairy Loot, I'm very confused. Okay, okay, cleaners? What just, 
What's happening? Stainless steel rainbow straws. Oh my, these are so cool. <laughs> Yo, again, practical. We got straws, metal straws for you lovely, recyclable, earth-friendly people. And this is to clean them with. Oh my God. <laughs> I like these. These are cool, man. Okay, so yes, Fairy Loot exclusive Galaxy Straws. Not only do they look amazing, but they also provide a little motivational boost. Wait, see inscription. Oh, they say words on them. Shine bright, yes, and reach for the stars. So when you're drinking, remember to shine bright and reach for, these are cool. Okay, again, practical items. I really, I'm digging the straws. Okay. Next, we have our book of the month, it looks like. Comes in our little exclusive fairy loot pouch, of course. So, of course, we have some artwork, lovely artwork. Don't know who these people are, but they're lovely. They look like they might be in love in space. <laughs> and then we have the fairy scoop, which, you know, we'll probably say about the author, gives you a hint for next month. So, with this month's box, we do receive a free ebook, actually, for a book. It's called Atlas Fallen. It's by someone named Jessica Pierce. So if you use this, you can visit the secret webpage below to download your exclusive free copy of the science fiction romance. Readers are calling perfect for fans of the Lunar Chronicles. And so this must be some artwork from it. That's really cool, you know, ebooks. We get two books. We get a free ebook. And the next one, of course, we have this month's bookmark, which shall go in my bookmark jar. And finally, we have the book of the month and I know our book we and it is the book I thought it was but for if you were in the US and Canada I believe we got a signed book plate and then everyone else got sprayed edges kind of jealous of you sprayed edges people but yes it is the book I thought it was it's Brandon Sanderson's Skyward if you recognize this lovely art it is by Charlie Bowater who's my absolute fave so the cover alone it sells me and I was very close to buying this so I'm glad I guessed correctly now I don't have to buy it of course as always, we have a lovely signed book plate by Mr. Sanderson himself. So this one is about a girl named Spensa, and it looks like in this world, pilots now run the world. Um, and it's been Spensa's dream ever since she was little to become a pirate. But however, her fate is somewhat intertwined with her father's because when Spensa was little, her father was killed years ago abruptly and deserted his team. So that leaves Spensa, the daughter of a coward, and the chances of attending flight school very slim. But one day she actually accidentally discovers something secret in a long forgotten cavern and it might just provide her with a way to claim the stars. I'm intrigued. That sounds really interesting. Fairy Lou described this as how to train your dragon meets space. So is she gonna find a dragon? No, she's gonna find a talking spaceship in space that's kind of like how to meet your dragon which I, is what Fairy Lou described it as. It's really different from what I've read before in sci-fi. I feel like there's not a lot of young adult sci-fi that is gripping and I love besides Illuminae. So I'm very excited to pick this up. Is it pretty naked? It's purple on the inside. Ooh, we have a little spaceship on the front and Skyworld. And that is it, friends. That is this month's Fairy Loot box. I think my favorite item, y'all, it has to be these freaking straws that I thought. I pulled them out and I was like, what are these wind chimes? Like, what? What are these? Okay, so that is the end of my fairy loot unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said below, make sure to use my rep code out page. You can receive a 10% discount. Thank you for always watching these fairy loot boxes, even though a million other people you watch probably also do them. I'm so, so excited that fairy loot reached out to me and asked if I wanted to continue unboxing for them. And I was like, uh, yes, 100% yes. So I will definitely for sure be seeing you next month for another fairy loot unboxing which next month's theme is dragons which i'm a big game of thrones fan so i'm hyped for that but yeah thank you guys so much for like watching make sure to like and comment below and that is it my name is ashley this is ashley page and i'll see you guys next time bye thank you